Another tip that I know about TikTok for a fact, am I really like that dramatic? Cringy. Someone get me like a freaking content creator award. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Kayla. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh, it is currently 4 for 4 and that was such a nice time to start this video. <laughs> Thank you universe. I hear you loud and clear. <laughs> it's almost 5 o'clock and I've done absolutely nothing with my day. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. So today is going to be a video of how I save a half-wasted day as an actor slash content creator. I don't really want to push it because I am not even close to being a content creator, but I need to do a bunch of batch content today, so you're gonna come along with me. I just don't know where to start. I don't know if I should do acting or if I should just batch. You know what? I think I'm gonna batch content right now just because it is bright outside. I can use the lighting to my advantage, so that's what we're gonna do. So I've been trying to, emphasis on trying, to post a lot on TikTok. TikTok is a very fast growing media and it's really important for me to be on there. Not only to promote my YouTube, but also just promote my niche. I, I hate that word. I don't know, just kind of promote what I'm doing and the videos I'm filming. The thing is though, I haven't actually been promoting my YouTube channel. I've just been kind of doing acting related videos, motivational videos, that kind of stuff, but I haven't really been referencing my channel much. So I want to prioritize that today. And I also want to use some of the saved sounds that I have um, because I have some ideas for that as well. If you guys aren't following me already, my TikTok is it's Kayla Carvalho. I post, as I said, acting videos, videos relating to pursuing your dream, even though you don't know where to start, that kind of thing. Just pretty much what I'm doing on here, but like shorter videos on TikTok. At one point I was actually doing really good and I was posting every single day and I was getting pretty good views. So I want to keep at it. It's just really tedious because with TikTok you have to post every day like multiple times a day for it to be pushed in the algorithm and it's a, it's a hassle. So I want to film a bunch of content today, at least maybe half a week or a week's worth of videos so I can post once a day. All right, so I'm going to go set up and then we will get started. Like I said, I am not a content creator. So my setup is going to be very chaotic. I'm going to use this little miniature what's this called? Ring light that I got from Amazon like ages ago, literally in the beginning of the pandemic because it has a little phone tripod thing. Also, I don't film in a specific place for my TikToks all the time. I kind of film wherever and just because I know there's so much light over here, I decided this was the best uh, place to go. That's just kind of the setup. I open up TikTok. So that's how it's looking like. If the camera wasn't here, whoo, if the camera wasn't here, it would have the little bookshelf. So that's what we're working with. I'm not gonna portray myself as a know-it-all with TikTok because every single time I think I know how the algorithm works, it proves that I just don't. But I do know what is important and it's actually how many videos are under each sound. So it's really important to keep note of how many videos because up until a certain point, it's easier for your video to get pushed by TikTok if it's under a certain amount of views. How many videos, I mean, as an example, let me see another one. So this one, for example, has 39 point k videos that's a lot of videos so i could use this audio i'm not saying that tiktok won't boost my video definitely could happen but this audio only has just under 4k videos and i save this video from my for you page so it means that people are using it tiktok is probably going to push my video way more with a audio that's under 4k than an audio that's under 30k i hope that made sense but that's how i kind of go about it in the end of the day i use whatever audio i want to use in terms of what i'm talking about but i've noticed that with my videos that do really well are usually the ones i find really early on that are just under like 10k so timer so what do you do for a living why did I nod my head like that? Like, so what do you do for a living? Oh, I should face this way. I hate my right side. Okay, I don't hate my right side, but like, you know how you have a preference of side? I always film on my left and I'm trying to break that cycle, but it's like, it's not working out because every time I try, I end up redoing it and it ends up being on my left side anyway. So I'm going to try that right now. Gotta break the cycle. I'm going to be an actress. I cannot be afraid of any angle. That just feels weird to me, but anyway, honestly, we are our worst critics. So I need to just shut up and do it. You guys are going to see my bad side anyway. Like, am I really like that dramatic? Oh, actually I'm an actress. Sometimes I cringe at myself. I love TikTok, don't get me wrong, but some of it is just 
cringy. Okay, I'm gonna continue in one second. Alrighty, first TikTok done. I'm not gonna play because of copyright, but if you wanna watch it, follow the TikTok. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that in my drafts because this is another tip incoming. I'm not gonna post it yet and I'll tell you why. Another tip that I know about TikTok for a fact is a little bit of how the algorithm works. I forgot which video I saw this on. So I did see this from a TikTok myself, but I don't remember her name for the life of me because I saw it so long ago and I've been using it every single time I post. But the way that TikTok works is when you, okay, let me, let me set the scene. So when you post a TikTok or an Instagram post or anything, what we usually do is we keep refreshing to see who's seen it, who's liked it, who's commented, all that kind of stuff. But that's exactly what the app wants you to do. It wants you to get on the phone. So the best thing to do, you post your video, you remove the app, exit out of the app entirely, turn off your phone or go into another app, whatever you choose, and leave it alone for a while. I usually do this when I'm out and about so I don't feel inclined to check my phone all the time. And you're gonna get notifications. You're gonna get notifications of likes, of comments, whatever but don't press on it because that's exactly what the app is trying to do is trying to entice you to go back on the app and use it and i've noticed this when i post something and i don't go on it right away to see who's liked it and who's commented i actually get it pushed more into the algorithm and that's when i actually get like 1k views 2k views post it and just don't go on it for like an hour or even longer it might not happen right away but i did notice a difference and i do it every single time without fail I found an audio that I wanted to post, but I want to talk about it a little bit before I start. So it's actually a clip from a um, 21 Jump Street with Johnny Depp. Hey. Yes, that's a real ID. I'm sure many of you guys have seen the audio go around on TikTok. And I've seen a lot of people do these kind of duet trends where they duet each other, like their own video. It's an acting trend to compare the two and it kind of makes a discussion in the comments. And I haven't done that on my account yet, so that's what I'm gonna do. Might just move even to this white wall over here where I usually film my acting things and attend my acting classes. So I think I'm gonna do it here. But look at that, beautiful. I just don't know how it works. Like, do I have to post it and then duet? it and then delete the original like is that how it works i've never done it <laughs> can you see what i'm doing look at that look at the content creator at its peak right now you can see me and the phone come on now someone get me like a freaking content creator award <laughs> i'm gonna do the timer Is this real ID? i already know the audio because i've watched it so many times you guys already know i love johnny depp so i'm ready for this okay i tried it didn't work out and that's okay. I'm not really feeling it right now at least, but I have enough time. It's literally only 5.30. It hasn't even been an hour since I first started everything and I'm on a good track. I'm just gonna go through the rest of my audios. I'm gonna go make some content and then I will come back to you with hopefully a bunch of content to film for the week, so wish me luck. <laughs> All right, so it's been a little while later. I'm currently eating dinner right now and taking a little small break. It's currently 6 30 so it's been like an hour and I actually got a few of them done. I got four videos filmed, all done, edited and everything. I am just going to eat and then film a few more with a different shirt and I think we're gonna be good with content so I'm really really excited about that. I'm glad I was productive. There's a stupid fly in this room and not helping right now. I'm gonna try the Johnny Depp audio again. I'm gonna try one more time. Let's see how it goes. Oh, I was a little too early on that. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. You see, sometimes you just gotta give it a little bit and then go back to it. Okay, guys. Okay, I'm so excited. Whoa, what's happening? Okay, so remember that tiktok that i said i wasn't gonna do it was the johnny depp one and i was like oh, i'm not feeling it i ended up doing it and it turned out so good well, the thing is i don't know how to change the caption it says duet with myself and every time i try to remove it it doesn't even allow me to so i don't know how they do it in the other duets i'm gonna have to try to uh figure that out but i really liked how it turned out so yeah it is currently 7 30 so around two hours later i have finally finished Hasn't been two hours already? Wow. Yeah, two hours of content creation and I got six videos. It sounds like a long time to just make six videos, but I was also talking to my sister. I was eating. I was just kind of taking my time with everything because I knew I wasn't really rushing this. I'm about to post one of them tonight, but yeah, I did it. I have content for a whole week. If you're watching this vlog right now, go on my TikTok and like and comment on this video so I know you came from this one.
Now I'm about to clean up the room because I have a bunch of crap everywhere and we're gonna go do some of my acting things that I need to do, so let's do that. It is currently 8.23 p.m. and I am so tired. <laughs> Why am I tired? Because all I did was TikTok videos. I have no clue. I have no business to be tired, but I still need to do a lot of things, so we're not gonna take a nap yet. Now I'm gonna work on my acting thing. So I'm not currently enrolled in any classes, which means I'm not really working or learning anything new at the moment. But what I realized that I haven't been doing in my in the last year of me being in acting classes is that I haven't gone back and rereading and familiarizing myself with the content that I did learn. Especially for my dialect classes, which you guys know all about. It's all over my YouTube channel. I've vlogged pretty much every single dialect class <laughs> that I've had. But yeah, I'm not really going back and familiarizing myself with the content which is very very important because how the hell am I going to learn a dialect if I'm not consistently working at it my lovely lovely coach which oh, I adore her she sent over the entire zoom call the entire three hour zoom call that I had with her during the class which means I can literally go back practice at any time so I'm going to go through this entire zoom call I have it right over here i'm gonna go through the entire video i have a notebook here and some pens i'm just going to rejog my memory write down anything that i noticed that i need to work on because they're she was very vocal in it so she would tell everyone what they need to work on so i'm gonna kind of pinpoint and jot those notes down something i want to keep consistent in my acting journey i want to make sure that i'm doing these things because i know myself and i know that i have very terrible memory so just going over these notes and watching the video back it's eventually going to be engraved in my mind and it's going to be much easier going forward for any acting auditions and stuff and, and it also sounds really boring it's like kayla like you're just going over the same things that you've already been taught but i think it's really important what's the point in going to these classes if you're not going to remember any of that you know let's see how much i can get done I'm gonna give myself an hour. That's what I'm gonna do, so. Cool. <laughs> It's currently 10 24 p.m. it's been a long day I'm still working on my acting I have I'm really into it so I don't want to stop you know while I'm ahead so I'm gonna continue that but I'm going to end this vlog here I realized that even though I did so much today on the vlog it seemed really boring but I did a lot and I'm actually proud of myself because I got a lot done so sorry if this vlog was a little boring or a little short but yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed let me know down in the comments and I will see you in my next video thanks for watching bye guys